Hi, this is Kevin from SwimCloud. Going to show you a very brief video on how to stamp a video once you have uploaded it to your account on SwimCloud. So this is Vanessa here, and I'm going to show you how you can get the metrics uh, for her. And basically, you're just going to be pushing three buttons. The D key here will be for the start and the turns. The S key will be for the stroke and count charting their distance per cycle and how many cycles they take, that type of thing. The A button would be for the 15 meter mark and it'll be for the uh, five yard finish from the flags in. So let's kind of get started here. I'm gonna click on the OK here I've got the sound out so you can hear me, and I've got this turned down so that it's gonna go just at 0.5 speed. And now as she starts, I'm gonna hit the D button there. As her hand enters, I hit the D again. When her head breaks, I hit the D again, gave me a start time. Now, every time her left hand hits, I'm hitting the S, I just hit the A button as her head went through the uh, 15 meter mark, still hitting the S. As her head drops, I hit the D button. I hit the D button again when her feet push. Then I hit it again as her head breaks. Then I go back into hitting the S every time that left hand hits. Now, as her head crosses the uh, flags, I'm gonna hit the A button again and then when she finishes, I'm going to hit the D one last time. That's going to give me the finish time. So as I look at this now, you can see that it gives you this bar layout and it shows you all the metrics. And in another video, I'm going to go through this in detail. But this is the blue here is giving you the underwater. The green is giving you the surface. And then these gray areas are what we call markers the 15 meter time and then the five yard uh, time from flags in. Now I want to show you one more thing before I go and that is, I'm going to turn the sound off, how this video and the data link together. And again I'm going to go through this in detail what this really means in another video. But as she starts you can see there's a cursor that goes across the bar all the way through. And now I've got it playing in regular speed here, but as the swimmer, and she's just coming up to her breakout, the swimmer can watch this and they can see what we're talking about with cycles. They can see what we're talking about and see here she slows into her turn a little bit. So those are some things that can help. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, again, I'm gonna have another video just on metrics. Thanks.